Hello my fellow nerds and geeks. This is Chris the Nerd Freak and welcome to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna talk about a new gacha game that came out this year and it's called Weathery Waves. And yes, this is a Beyblade. I bought it today after work. I was like obsessed about Beyblades these past few months. Like I wanted to collect them again. So I bought one from after work and just been like, yes, I'm gonna start collecting these little things now. <laughs> it's kind of like a Pokemon addiction. Like, you know, when you buy Pokemon cards, you'd be like, I wanna buy this. I wanna collect them. But then you stop because you think about the money and be like, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be broke. You're gonna be broke. I started playing Weathering Waves from like two or three days ago. And I gotta say the game is actually pretty good. Like I like the way it looks. It's similar to Genshin Impact, but at the same time, it has some elements that Genshin Impact doesn't have. But I'm not gonna say that I'm an expert of this game because obviously I just started three, three days ago. So I'm just gonna give you like, my first impression of the game. That's what I'm gonna do. So it's not really a, like a review, it's more like I'm just giving you my first impression of how I felt about the game and what needs improving. Because there are some bugs and things that needs improving, but we'll get to that later. At the beginning of the game of Webley Waves, you'd meet this character called Rover, who he or she is basically a character that has no memory of who they are, like literally no memory of their name or where they come from and how they got there because they end up going to a different world that's not their own. And they meet these two characters, these two female characters called Chi Chia and Yang Yang. And I gotta say, the voice acting of these characters are really good. Like they really are adorable. Like they're a little, literally, there's so many characters in this game that look beautiful and look handsome and sexy at the same time like there's literally a bunch of beautiful female characters including male characters but we're not going to talk about the male characters right now we're going to talk about how far we went in the story and they encountered like a really strong echo basically echoes are like creatures that um live in this world and sometimes you can use these echoes to fight with you by absorbing them and adding them to your collection and i gotta say the echoes in this game are like really cool like it's like having a pokemon on your side which is really cool i like the idea that came up with the game and there are other mechanics in this game i actually think was really cool like i like the running on the walls mechanics the grappling hook and there are other like um, mechanics I think that's really cool too, but, but I don't like get too much into, I don't want to tell you so many things, I actually like you guys to actually like give the game a go, but I'm just going to give you some of the things that I, you know, see and everything. Sorry, I got to pause it for a bit because my brother is starting to cry and it's starting to annoy me. Sorry, I had to pause the video because my little bro was kind of being a pain in the backside for crying for no reason. Like, literally, you know, no children, they tend to throw a tantrum for no reason. But besides that, what were we talking about again? Oh yeah, we're talking about the mechanics. I think the mechanics are actually quite good. Like, they're kind of similar to Genshin Impact. I know I shouldn't compare. I know I shouldn't compare these two games to each other, but at the same time, it's hard not to because you, you do realize it's kind of similar, but at the same time, it's not similar. It's a little bit different. But yeah, I think the mechanics are good. My only problem of this game so far is that it has some bugs. It does have some bugs, like, for example, some of, like, the audio gets cut off when a character talks, and that's, like, very annoying. I hate when they do that. It's kind of like what happened with Honkai Star Rail. Bro, some of the audio in that game keeps cutting off, and I hated that so much. So hopefully they can fix that. And I can enjoy the game better. I can enjoy the game better if they do that. Please fix it, fix it as soon as possible. And the characters I actually managed to get in the game was um, Kakarot, that looks a lot like Sephiroth from Final Fantasy. I know that he's not like him, but at the same time he does look like him. And 
I never actually played Final Fantasy, I only played Kingdom Hearts, and that's where I know Cloud and Sephiroth from, is Kingdom Hearts. But yeah, Kakarot, he's literally one of my favorite characters, literally one of my favorite five stars. And my other characters that you will see on my um, list, like I managed to pull, like, have a really good pull on those ones, like, like, they were really, they were really good. And um, I think one of my favorites, mainly because of her big watermelons, her big jugs, her big basketballs, and that has to be Toki. Toki looks beautiful. Damn! Like we all know, we all know why we pull for a character. We all know why we pull for a character. It's because of her melons. They look yummy. Giggity. So far in the game, we encountered a character called Shinsen, and she is a monk, and we're like looking for like a new, um, one of the newer characters in the game, but we don't encounter him just yet. We First, we look for this other character who's part of the military, who's not one of the main characters, obviously. He's like a random NPC. And, um, Basically, is that Jensen was like, he asked her, she volunteered to look for this um, boy who volunteered to be part of the military or something, and yeah, we just need to find him, and I think, no, we did find him, or we didn't find him, no, we didn't find him, but then that's when Rover had like another vision, because he started getting visions of these like, um, about like what's about to happen, or who he's linked to, and um, that's when we bump, and that's when we actually like actually see the general. Why did I say bump? Why did I say bump? Jeez, my brain's not working. Sorry, it's just I after work. I'm just, I'm always tired after work, guys. I'm always tired, so I'm, I'm trying my best, but at the same time. But yeah, I'm planning on playing the game a lot more so I can learn more of the world and the lore of the story and everything like that, including the characters. So yeah, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't perfect, but I hope you got some insights of what the game is about and also why the game is really good and why you should try it. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.